Hey everybody, RC here. Let's talk about how to be able to create columns and headers in Dreamweaver. It's pretty straightforward. Here I have Dreamweaver open. I'm going to go to Manage Sites and I'm going to create a new site based on this folder that I have on the desktop. So I'm going to go to New Site and now under the site name I'll just go ahead and call it Sample Site. The local root folder is going to be on the desktop and here we have that Sample Site folder. Pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and I'll click OK and I'm done here. Now I'm going to create a basic file and we'll go ahead and we'll use that. Now before we start, if I click on file and I click on new, you'll notice that there's a ton of different layouts already set up for you here. So you have an elastic centered, you have a fixed centered, you have a two column fixed with a left sidebar, two column hybrid with a left sidebar, a three column elastic. So there's tons of different ones that are already set for you. But it's really not that hard to set it up. So let's show you how to do that. I'm going to click on right click over here and I'm going to make a new file and the file is going to be called test.htm. That's set. I'm going to double click on this and open it. I'm going to do this in no time. I'm going to switch this over here to design and what I'll do is I'll just zoom out so that you can see a little bit of what I'm going to do here. Now let's say that I want to create a table that's going to be or actually a layout that's going to be about 975 pixels wide and I need a banner at the top that's going to be let's say 975 by 200 so how would I do that first thing that I want to do is I want to create the container that's going to hold all of this so I'll come over here and I'm going to go under the window I want CSS styles so I click on that there's no CSS styles defined we'll click on the plus sign it's going to ask me to create a class. I'm going to call that class dot container. And that's going to be the main holder for everything. And I'm going to put that into a new style sheet file. Click OK. Where do you want to save it? Obviously, we have to save it in the sample site folder. So I'll call this styles.css. Now, let's make the box. The box that I wanted to make, again, I said it was 975. And I'm going to leave the height blank. Actually, you know what? I can always change this. So I'll go ahead and I'll make it 900 for now actually 1200 I'm gonna float this or align this over to the left and I'll click OK now the styles here but I haven't put it into the page so I'm gonna single click on the page and I'm gonna to go to insert layout objects div tag what div tag do I want to put in well I want to put in that container that I just made so I click on that and I click OK there's a container all done now inside of this container I'm going to actually before I delete that let me show you what I just did I'm going to go over here to 100% what it does is it puts this sample content in here so I just highlight that and delete it now I need that banner that goes at the top so it's going to be 975 by 200 leaving my cursor right inside this center right and it's hard to see because again it's at 100% and I'm trying to capture everything so I'm just going to go to 50% so you can see that I'm in there right I can know that I'm in there, I'm in the body, so I'm going to click on Insert, uh, Layout Objects, Div Tag. And I'm going to make a new class or a new Div Tag area. So I'm going to call that Header. It's going to be a new one because I don't have it yet. So I'll click on that. It's a class, it's going to be called dot .header, that's fine, I click OK. And the box for this is going to be 975 by, uh, let's see, what did I say? I said 200. I'm going to float this to the left. And now so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to go to the background and I'm just going to choose a color. I'll just choose red for now. Now, it's here, but it's not here. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go to Insert. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go to Insert, Layout, Div Tag. At the Insert point, I'll Insert Header, and I'll click OK. <gasps> Look at that. I messed it up. It's all the way in down here. That's not good at all. Why did that happen? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to single click on this and notice that I have the header thing selected. And I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click again on the edge. And now I have this header selected and I'm going to hit delete. This is what happened. When I double clicked up here at the top, you see how it put me right here. I'm going to try to zoom in and see if I doesn't mess anything up. But I'm right here at the edge of this, to the right of this. See this part right here? Now watch this. I'm going to zoom out. 
that's where I'm at and it tells me that I'm in the body tag. I'm not inside the container. If I click in here, notice now the cursor is on the left. Now it says container, so that means that I'm inside the container. So I'm going to insert layout objects div tag. Now I'll go ahead and I'll insert the header. I don't have to do it over because it's already inside of the style sheet file. I'll click OK. There's the container. And there's our content. Again, I highlight that stuff and delete it. Now, I want to put the other content to the right of this, so I'm going to highlight this container that I have here. Notice that it's highlighted because it says div header. And I'm just going to hit the right arrow key. It brings me to the next spot. Now I'm going to do another insert layout objects div tag. I'm going to make that left column. I'm going to call it left column. It's a new CSS style. And what I'll do is I'm going to create a class, left call, that's fine. And I'll make this box, let's say that I make it 175. And I float this to the left. I'm just going to make it 500 for now so that we can have um, something with a little bit of height. Click OK. That's the box that I want to do. I'm going to click OK here. There's my box. Now, I forgot to add some background color so I can just double click right here inside of this CSS and go to background and I'll select, I don't know, a blue so you could see it. Same thing. Now this is 175 so that means I have 900 pixels left. I went and I highlighted this at the very edge. It tells me that I'm in the left call and I click the right arrow. Let's go ahead and insert and layout objects div tag. Now let's go ahead and make this one main. Make a new CSS style. Obviously that's going to be main. And this box is going to be, I don't know, 800 by 200 with a float again of left and we'll go to the background and we'll take the background and make it, I don't know, a different color just so that you can see it. Once I insert this here, there it is. Now, I have 175 here plus 800 here. That makes the 975. But if I wanted to add a third column, what I could do is I just double click on main and I go to the box and change that to let's say 700. Now, I have 700 plus 175, so that's 875. So I only have 100 pixels left around here. I'm going to come back over to main, and I'm going to take this box, and let's say that I make it, uh, let's see, 600. So now I have 600 here, plus on this box I have 775, right? So 600 plus 175 is 775. So that means I have 200 for this box. And click on this, click to the right, insert, layout objects, div tags. I'm going to go ahead and make this right box, new CSS style. I'll go ahead and I'll click on this class, and this box is going to be 200 by 600 with a float of left. Click OK. Click OK. There's the box. Now, just so that you can see it, I'll go ahead and I'll change the background on this one as well and I'll click OK. This box is a little too short. I can just double click right on the main, go to this box tab, and make this 600. And I can come to this left column over here and go to the box and do this and change that to 600 as well. Now that I have that set, what I could do is I could come back to this container and either put in the same height for this or just leave this blank that automatically snaps to the top of that. So it's a quick way for you to get around how to be able to create boxes for columns inside of a Dreamweaver layout. My name is RC. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.